Wait a minute. Before I introduce our fabulously curvaceous, so delectably voluptuous, soft spoken, queen of seduction, feature. I'm, just gonna, I'm not even going to tell you the joke that happened to me yesterday. I'm going to leave it alone. Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> the wonderful woman who I've had the blessing and privilege of knowing these last few years and traveling with her is known throughout social network and hearts and bodies she's touched as the queen of seduction. A lot of, a lot of female poets, you know, happen to be really bombastic and they hit you over the head with a lot of man bashing shit, whatever. That's not her. That's not her. She will bring you in. She's like that beat on an August night on Lake Michigan and you're sitting there and it's 1.10 a.m. and it's so cool outside. That's how her voice is. She draws you in. I've been there, I know. Ladies and gentlemen, she is the author of seven books total. Woo! She is the facilitator of the upcoming Erotic Anthology Nights Playground, Nocturnal Woo! Naughtiness. Yeah! She is, what I like to say, the brain trust by all things Team GPA. Ladies and gentlemen, please, if you would, receive the queen of seduction, my partner, my of Cotton Campbell! Y'all say you ain't got shit on that. <laughs> <laughs> I've been drinking. I've been drinking. <laughs> um, hey, everybody. Hi. How y'all doing? Y'all happy to be here? We're happy that you're here, my love. You happy to see me? Is that a gun in your pocket? <laughs> I'm the queen of seduction, so I say stuff like that periodically. Lying in my bed and hear the clock ticking Think of you caught up in circles Confusion is nothing new Flashbacks and warm nights Almost left behind A suitcase of memories Time after, sometimes you picture me I'm walking too far ahead You're calling to me I can't hear what you say Then you say, go slow I fall behind a second hand unwinds If you're lost you can look and you will find me Time after time If you fall I will catch you I'll be waiting Time after time If you're lost you can look and you will find me Time after time If you fall I will catch you I will be waiting Time after time. After my picture fades and darkness has turned to gray, watching through windows, you're wondering if I'm okay. Secrets stolen. From deep inside The drum beats out of time If you're lost you can look and you will find me Time after time If you fall I will catch you I'll be waiting Time after time 
If you're lost, you can look and you will find me. Time after time, time after time, time after time. I watched the rain fall, and in the shadowy movements of his wet silhouette, his eyes and smile is what I could see. Clearly, God whispered to me that this man needed my healing. See, behind him was his past, but I could see the love, the joy, the pain, the broken hearts, and even some unhappiness. And all I wanted to do was to embrace him. See, the rain only covered his tears, and the smile was temporary, so it would soon disappear. And my womanly sister said that he needed me, and that I had the ability to heal his emotional wounds. No, not like a mother heals her child, but like a woman who stands strong by his side, because that's what he desired. Mark, you didn't need to be told what to do. See, God took care of that. He guided me to you. It's not my job to make up for what other women have done in your past. I'm not to blame. There's a reason those relationships didn't last. They made room for me. It's not my position. It's my position to make sure that whatever future we have won't hold a cloudy forecast, but only a chance of rain. And the sun will shine on your heart again, and you will regain some happiness. Your pride will be set aside, the pain will subside, or maybe it will just die so you can feel my love for you. I open my arms to embrace, to hold, for you to know that in me there's loyalty, love, and trust. I'm your pot of gold on the other side of the rainbow. So when you need me, reach for me. But forgive them first. For you to hurt is much worse. Wherever we go, we go together. If heaven can wait for me, then I can wait for us. So you are my king, and I'm your queen, literally. You sit on the throne and I stand by your side. His eyes dry, the pain subsides, and the sun overshowers his pain, because in me is where he found love again, softly spoken. I like having him as a cheerleader. Team GPA in this thing. Let's see. Um, I wonder if he would ever cry for me. That's the ultimate compliment. See, I don't need him to cry or be a crier. Just cry the thought of losing me, never having me in his life causing such a great emotion that there's nothing else left for him to do but shed a tear of sadness and loss. I wonder if he remembers how I embraced and put my lips up on his face. I know he wishes I could do that over and over again. See, I don't need for him to cry because he got caught. Cry before the loss, the before thought of doing anything that would cause him to lose something so sweet. See, just the mere thought of him losing me should make him take two steps back and think of our love and how it was meant to be. See, you, me, and she makes three, and I don't get down like that. I need him to share the tear of joy, not just because of our sexual joy, but because he enjoys the woman in me. See, flowers are sweet and well. I love when he invites me for a bite to eat. That's just sweet. He would do that for anyone. I need him to share the tears. He's down on one knee waiting for me to answer because he just popped the question. Listen, ladies, this is a life lesson and a beautiful blessing. See, only a real man can stand and shed a tear of joy, not treating you like you're his toy, but you're his prize, his queen, his treasure unseen. This is the thing. He's strong when you need him to be. I wonder if he would ever cry for me. That's the ultimate compliment. Softly spoken. Oh, yeah. Let's go. At night, when you're far and I'm alone, I feel the fabric from your t-shirt flowing through my body. I can still hear your baritone 
in my ear telling me you take it slow and I was in the mirror playing roles like you were here I couldn't turn me on so I fell asleep with the music on woke up again hearing the same old song playing give it to me deeper you're giving me the fever now you got my feet up when you're not here I sleep in your t-shirt after we make love I sleep in your t-shirt wake up in your t-shirt to smell the scent of your cologne emotions constantly run high just the mere thought of you tasting the inside of my thighs my heart pounds to a rhythm that flows with your lyrics. My body reacts to a sound that you'll never forget. Your smooth hands, the softness of your fingertips. You play my body like a great pianist. You play so well, you deserve a standing ovation. The way you love, I'm requesting an Oscar nomination. Every part of my body is your instrument to play. You have ownership so it can't be stolen or given away. You've become the man I so greatly respect. You hold and you care for me, showing no neglect. I'm feeling like a new song you just sat down to write. Feeling good, brand new, like a guitar that's never been used. Tonight, I need you to beat on my drums. You do this so well. Question, GPA. Did you come? <laughs> mind shattering, mind boggling, mind perplexing, mind bender. Walk toward this reality. Is it the next or the fifth dimension? I have no control over my cerebral cortex or my motor functions. Heart beating. Is it? Is it not? I hear you. Maybe I am deaf. I see you. Maybe I am blind. I'm speaking, but unintelligible syllables come from my mouth. My body tremors seem to shake. Am I in control? Am I not in control? I hear you say something. I hear you not. You asked me, did I reach apex? Did I arrive? Did I crassly come? Did I orgasm? Did, yeah, I think I did. I'll be your lyrical inspiration. You can be my chocolate temptation. I'll be the lyrical note that will heighten your sensation. When this song is done, we'll be as one tune my bass and tighten my strings. Panties, no need. I have other edible things. Holding the mic and this is my part. I'm not trying to hurt you. Just finish what we start. Softly spoken. I'm gonna do one more and then I'm gonna get out of the way. Oh no, you can say we hurt you. <laughs> oh, shush, my lady. Um, hmm. So I asked him, are you seeing someone else? Wait, before you reply, don't lie because I can see right through all that Maybelline. Your <laughs> lips are covered in her plum lipstick. The foundation cocoa brown is smudged into your collar and it's not my color because I don't wear that cake on my face. My womanly senses have picked up on your GPS scent dialed into your radar. The tracking device not installed on your car, but is pressed on your heart, which tells me where you are emotionally. These findings aren't to put you down, attack your character, or to make you look bad, but for you to recognize that the woman that stands right here before you is smarter than the average. Look, I love you, but I deserve some honesty. So don't get mad, don't take it personally. This is grown-up conversation. You're a man, you can handle it besides. It's mentally stimulating. And if you want this, you'll listen. No disrespect intended. So don't clam up when I say we need to talk because that tells me that you're guilty and you've done something wrong and you believe I know your secrets and your truth. You decided to take away my choice, but listen to my soft-spoken voice when I say, you won't have your cake, eat it, 
emotionally abuse it, misuse it. So blow out your candles and be thankful you have a woman like me. Your wish should be that I don't get angry because I hate being relationship confused as some of you men like to do, then sing the blues when we react in a way that you can't handle. As a woman, I can cook, clean, make love, have sex as often as you need, but only if you wife me. The woman you choose shouldn't be giving you the blues, not trying to fill your shoes, but you have to tell the truth. Just be honest. And we can both walk away from this with some honor, not feeling like we got screwed, abused, or misused, but we're just two people that weren't meant to be. So before you fix your mouth to tell a lie, know that I've already investigated and those 2 a.m. calls ain't your mama. I've researched, I've checked your cell, and I've got the woman who left her face behind on speed dial. But I'm giving you this opportunity to be the man that I believe you are. Just be honest. Come clean. And walk away with some respect and some dignity from me. Now, let me ask you this again. Are you sleeping with my friend? Softly spoken. Ladies and gentlemen, I know you're Go, go. I don't think that was loud enough, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up, boys. Oh my god, she was awesome. And I see that people had cameras that were filming things. I see you people filming things. And I, everybody that was filming stuff, I just want to say, we have a website that was for a uh, feature for her on Facebook. I'd really love to see them. I really would. Really, really, really. Just put the links up because we'd love to see them. Because now I've got to talk about future features because there's so few left in the year. We've got December 3rd. Oh, ah, we got a double feature night with Michael Hogue and Dallas Malice. What a crazy combo that's going to be, but it's going to be awesome for everyone. And on December 17th, we've got Jeff Helgeson. He's going to be, I believe, replaying the play In the Moment that was done this past summer. And I think somebody like Dave Getchick, I'm not sure, I can't give a confirmation of that, but I think he would be playing a part in it as well. So that would be really, really, really cool. We don't have anything going on until the new year, which I have to say Merry Christmas, Happy New Year for that stuff. But at the beginning of 2014, hey, is Patrick really around? Because he's going to be having that thing on January 7th. And as I said, everybody gets one feature a year. Tentatively, Jeff Helkison might be doing another thing at the end of January as well. And I just said a word, in February 4th, Oh my god, this is awesome. Jeffrey Stewart will be the feature. Oh, I'm so, that's what, yeah, give it up. That'll be awesome. <laughs> and now I feel like I'm scrolling. February 18th, Jackie Wolf. March 4th, Janine Ravislu. March 18th, Tom Ruby. April 4th, said, why am I just going that far into the future? Because that's crazy stupid. Because if you want to know anything about the schedule, you can always go to www. Chaoticarts.org slash the cafe for the cafe gallery. You can find the 2015 schedule. And we've got openings maybe starting in the end of May for you people. And I would love to see all of you in just two weeks for a great double feature night. And thank you all so very much for being here. And I look forward to seeing you again. Thank you, thank you, thank you.